need to open up Xcode. You'll find Xcode under Macintosh hard drive, then developer, then applications, and then there you have all the development tools. Then open up Xcode. Um, hit create new project, and then under application, select command line tool, and hit choose. And then I'm just going to name it first underscore program. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop and hit save. Okay. Now, once you have it all opened up, go to source, then first program dot M. Now you can delete everything from the braces to up until return. And then here we go. Because that's all just memory management. Now we're going to um, initialize a few variables. First, we're going to initialize, um, they're all going to be ints, or they're all going to be integers. So int a semicolon, int b semicolon, and int c semicolon. Now we're going to assign some variables. a is 1 semicolon, b is 2 semicolon, and c is a plus b and then you can save that now we're going to head back to the powerpoint to learn how we will display this data ns log this is what will let us display data in the debugger because right now we're not going to be making an entire program we're just going to be outputting the all the information whatever we need to output is just going to be text in the debugger if you're not sure what the debugger is um, you'll know once we go back into Xcode now string formatters we'll need this to export the information to the debugger now first you'll need NS log and then you'll need to put parentheses then at quotation marks then this is whatever you want so for right now we're going to do a modulo b equals and then this is the formatting part if it's an integer which ours is it's percentage sign i if it's uh, unsigned integer it's percent u uh, double percent f and a decimal number it's percent 2d if it's like a two decimals two numbers behind the decimal or 4d or 5d you get the point now since ours is int, just regular integers, percent i, then close off with quotation marks, then comma, then the variable that will be substituted in for percent i, and that will be c. Then close the parentheses and then semicolon. Then down below we can see right there uh, what c is equal to. Now if you want to display modulo, you have to use two percent signs. That's because all the string formatters use a percent sign. So if you just use one percent sign, um, it'll confuse the compiler about what you want. So if you want to use, if you want to uh, just display a percent sign in the debugger, you have to use two. For more on string specifiers, go to developer.apple.com and search string format specifiers and then click on iPhone Dev Center uh, or the Mac Dev Center now there's lots of them for all the different types of variables so if you want to look at that you can but it's not necessary now we'll head back to Xcode to finish up the program and finish up this tutorial now that we know how to export um, things we want to display and put it into the debugger all we have to do is put in that code so we'll start with ns log and you'll come up with you'll notice that it comes up with a suggestion and it's kind of dimmed out um, xcode is a very smart source code editor not all source code editors have that uh, functionality but if you if the suggestion is correct just hit enter in this case it takes us inside the 
parentheses. Now we need to put at quotation mark and then this is just whatever is displayed. And I'll put A plus B equals and now we need our string modifier. Um, that is the percent sign and then it's an integer that we're going to be displaying so it's I. Then you close it off the quotation marks then put a comma and then we'll put the variable name of whatever will go inside that uh, string modifier will go in the place of it so and that is C and then uh, you'll notice that whenever you close off something uh, when you close off the parenthesis the first one pops up in yellow so that's another nice feature of Xcode Then close it off with a semicolon now we're going to do another uh, statement at um, quotation mark then a plus b equals percent i close it off comma you can also do inside uh, inside the ns log functionality you can actually add things so we can do a plus b and then semicolon and end it now ns log at quotation mark a is and then percent i and quotation mark comma and then a so just so we'll know that a equals um, one so it'll display that so really actually I'll just put an equal sign here and then ns log b equals then percent i close off quotation mark comma b then semicolon so there you have it we done all our code all we have to do is build and run it now now before we build and run it there's actually something that I forgot if this is truly gonna be your first program you have to add in something ns log at and just simply put hello world okay if this is gonna be your first program you have to have that in there because I mean that's every programmers first program practically okay now we can hit build and run then hit save all and I have it so it automatically opens up the debugger I'll show you how to get that um, option turned on in a video that I'll do upcoming now in your case that a bugger probably won't come up so what you need to do is go to run and then actually go down to console because the console is what it's actually being exported in. I was saying debugger and it's actually just part of the debugger. So it's the debugger console. And then there you see the results right there. Um, you see hello world that we displayed first, then a plus b equals 3, and a plus b equals 3 again. And remember, we used a and b as a substitute into that string formatter so we were at um, so we see the um, arithmetic right in the NS log works perfectly fine um, then a equals 1 and B equals 2 so there you have it you've just created your very own program so you are a programmer um, programming isn't this huge monster that everybody thinks it is um, it does take time and really you just have to have the will to learn but um, yeah, there you go. Congratulations. Um, if you have any questions, email me at Mac and Computer Help. And if these tutorials helped you out, please, please, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Now, your homework is just to change um, what A and B are equal to, change that to maybe some different numbers, maybe add some uh, more variables, change the text in NS log, you know, just kind of play around, get familiar with um, exporting things to the debugger, things like that. Um, and that's pretty much it.